We take pride in producing quality bottled water dispensers. That's why we're here to help on the rare occasion when something goes wrong. We'll walk you through troubleshooting your bottom loading dispenser if the water is not getting cold. All you need is a few minutes, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a cup or pitcher. First, turn off the hot and cold switches. Then we'll dispense about four cups of water from the cold tap. Your dispenser should begin to pump water in order to refill itself. Wait about 30 seconds and turn the cold switch back on. Now, do you see the LED indicator for cold water? If the light is not on, try dispensing two more cups of water. If the light still does not come on, contact our customer care team for further assistance. If the light is on, check to see if you hear the compressor running. It should sound like a small refrigerator. If the light is on but the compressor is not running, turn the switch back off, wait 30 seconds, then turn it back on. If the compressor remains silent, contact customer care. If the compressor is running, we'll want to give it a chance to cool the water. Allow the unit to run for about an hour without being used. Welcome back! The next step is to check if the water is now cold. If the water is still not cold, please contact our customer care team for further assistance. If the water is cold, turn your hot switch back on and begin to use your dispenser as normal. If the cold water begins to get warm after you turn on the hot switch, we'll need to check your baffle as it may be out of place. First, turn off both switches and unplug the unit. We're going to need to remove your dispenser's top cover in order to access the reservoir. Turn your dispenser around so you can get to it from the back and remove the two Phillips head screws as shown. Lift the rear of the cover up and pull it towards you until it's out of the way. You can let the cover hang. You'll want to wash your hands before accessing the reservoir. Now, carefully remove your reservoir lid and place it to the side. You'll need to dispense about half of the water to work with the baffle. Now check the baffle. If it's out of place, the hot and cold water will mix, preventing the water from getting as cold as it should. Take the baffle out of the reservoir and locate the water inlet in the center. Place the bottom of the baffle over the inlet and push down firmly. Now replace the reservoir lid and top cover. You can now plug your unit back in, turn on the switches, and enjoy your cold Primo water in about an hour. We hope that this video has been helpful in diagnosing and resolving your issue. Should you ever require any further assistance, please contact our customer care team to speak with a knowledgeable representative.